finally created a space where Black women can come together and talk about everything that makes them feel uncomfortable. While the topic of discussion may be hair, you'll be surprised where you can veer off into other subjects when talking about hair. During season two, we'll talk all about dating as black women, hair in corporate America, and how we can bridge a gap. I'm your host, Brianna, and you're watching Sister's Diary. What's up? Welcome to season two of Sister's Diary. We have a new cast. And I'm super excited to have these ladies here, so I'm going to introduce these ladies. So, to my left, I have Ebony. She is my best friend. So, Ebony is a natural hair enthusiast that works in corporate America. In her spare time, she enjoys to travel and invest in real estate. <laughs> Next, we have Tyler. She is a model and a photographer who aspires to be a role model for young women just like herself. Her dream is the path to her destiny. Next, we have Leah. Leah is an engineering student at FIU and she teaches at a preschool. She enjoys her spare time exploring the natural hair world. Next, we have Janine. Janine is a model, an actress, a photographer, and a videographer who discovered the beauty of her natural hair in 2018. And last but not least, we have Sherry Ann. She is a finance student at USF. She is a first generation Jamaican American who loves to model and go on adventures. So we have a great cast this time, guys, and we're gonna get right into it. So first, before we start, let me first make a disclosure. I am in no way, shape, or form telling these ladies what to say all of their views are their own and I did not tell them these answers or the questions ahead of time because I wanted it to be natural, authentic, and these ladies can attest to that. Correct? Yes. 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 Right? Right? Okay, cool. So don't be in the comments with the patients, y'all. Here at Sisters Diary, we advocate for all hair types and we try to show representation in our show. So today our cast is all natural. We have all natural ladies, um, but some of us have sister locks. We have um, someone who has their natural hair straightened as well. So I can, I'm sure you guys can tell by the uh, faces, <laughs> but yes, let's just hop right into it guys. So the first question is um, hair in corporate America. So. Do you guys, like if you're in school, I know you are in school and you are in school. So if you ladies are in school around campus, do you ever get like discriminated against um, as far as your hair or if you wear weave or if you wear your hair straight or when you're wearing your hair natural, those type of things? Honestly, no, it just seems to come as a surprise to certain people when it looks different from the last time they saw you like, oh, your hair grew 10 inches, how'd you do that? <laughs> right. Other than that, not really. They, right. they just seem like ignorant about it. Yeah. Just not used to the culture, per se. Right, right. So, I've noticed that, well, when I went to FAMU my freshman year, and Ebony went to FAMU as well, um, I think they they were definitely supporting the natural hair movement at that time. Like everybody was natural. So do you see that at your school now at FIU? Yes, but honestly, it's not like a lot of diversity mm -hmm. with the natural hair. People just go with their puff. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, so they just wear a puff and or wear that's it all it. out. Cool. Oh, that's cool. What about you? Um, I would say at USF, um, everyone is more open towards natural hair and everyone can wear like oh, totally different styles. Um, I think the biggest thing is that like if I make friends one week, I show up the next week in a different hairstyle. They might not recognize me and then it's just <laughs> yeah. awkward like, hello, yeah. they, don't, they don't know who you are. Yeah. yeah. But it's definitely open and yeah. um, a lot of versatility when it comes to hair. That's awesome. What about you ladies? What about what, what about you, Janine? Um, well, I've been going through, well not been going through, but I've gone through a battle of trying Ooh. to figure out my hair. Um, I wore it straight for a long time, just you know, going with the trend, I guess. Um, and then 
when I went natural, I would wear my hair twisted for work because I didn't know how everyone would react about it. Um, because so I live in Ocala, you don't really see too many people. Wow. Yeah, I would twist my hair mm -hmm. and then um, and then pin it up. But then I just I gave in. I said, forget it. I'm me. I'm gonna I'm gonna look like this. And if you have a problem with it, then I know that's right. Keep so walking. <laughs> what do you think made you feel that way? I mean, had anyone at work said anything to you, or was it just something internally? I think it was more internally. Okay. Um, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Just stepping into a profession. Mm -hmm. um, it was it was just something internally that I was right. battling and had you to felt come like to you that had to kind of hold back. Yeah, you know, I couldn't be, I couldn't be me. Mm -hmm. I had to put on a mask. Wow, mm -hmm. that's that's crazy. Ebony. Okay, well, going back to FAMU and college days, I did go to a HBCU where everybody had hair like me, but also FSU was in the same town, and the gym that I went to was mainly white. Um, students and I would get com comments like oh you got your afro out today you know mm. like you know like yeah switch it up so I remember like whenever I would take out my weave and I did have my natural hair I would be sitting in the car like oh, about to go in here yeah, what I'm about to hear today mm -hmm. you know because they just don't understand that our hair does switch up I, I mean I didn't wear braids then but I could have had long braids a long weave my mm -hmm. natural hair and they just didn't seem to get it. So I experienced it more in college than I do now in like the workforce. Yeah, cool. I would like to piggyback off of what Leah said. One day you come in, your hair is 10 inches long, and the next day you just got an afro and you just got to reintroduce yourself to everyone. Like, hey, it's me. Mm -hmm. There's been so many times I have like a ponytail look and my hair is super long and I cut my hair short. Like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, your hair cut today? No, this is my natural hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's kind of uncomfortable because you're getting all those questions. Like, you don't know how to answer. You don't want to come off with anything. Mm -hmm. And you just don't know how to respond. But it's like, yeah, it's new. Like, right. sometimes it's just a lie. Yeah, it's a new look for me or something like that. But mm -hmm. I just feel like in today's world, <laughs> know by now like yeah yeah, yeah. 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 like you know it's like, an art it's, <laughs> right. it's not gonna be the same every day and i feel like they should know it like in this time day but yeah. yes i would agree like for me being in a, um an entrepreneur and going to networking events like networking for me is okay you know the first time but the second time when you have to follow up when you have to go back and or you meet these people these same people um people don't know who i am literally they won't they don't know who i am and i have a wig business and i switch it up i may wear wigs sometimes and i may wear my real hair sometimes but it's just like they don't know who I am and it's uncomfortable for me to be like, oh, I'm the girl that <laughs> like, right. it's just like, so for me, networking is is hard um, just in that aspect. But I also feel like I'm not going to stop wearing a different wig every day. I like changing up my wigs and I like changing up my hair. So, um, you know, corporate America is funny. And just being out in the world, whether you're in college, whether you're, um, like I said, in corporate America, it's just different because you don't know, like you said, you don't want to be rude when people ask, but it's just like, uh, what am I supposed to say? Because you're making me feel uncomfortable. Right, exactly. So I really just wonder if it comes from their ignorance because of their lack of versatility with their hair. They can go mm -hmm. from ponytail to straighten us. That's it. Yeah. That's all they got. Yeah. And you know what? I love that black hair comes in so many different textures. Period. Um, I just love it. And I'm relaxed. I'm the only one who is relaxed here, guys. <laughs> all these ladies are natural. But um people do tell me that, you know, oh, you're relaxing your hair because you want to be white. Like, no, like my I, I'm black. My hair it's, it right. can't do that <laughs> so even w with my relaxer like i do so many styles i can do a twist out i can do a braid out mm -hmm. and most people don't think that i'm relaxed so um black hair is so versatile um you wear your hair straight a lot yes. So, <laughs> yes, why do you why do you um, choose to silk press your hair? So, I originally decided to silk press my hair due to the humidity in Florida mm -hmm. since I moved from New Jersey. And I've never really had the opportunity to learn how to control my hair because it's so naturally kinky and 
curly and it's so much to maintain and try to work with and it's very overwhelming sometimes. So I gave it a try one day and I guess my style is used something where it blocks out humidity as well. So I was just wow. like, let's go. Yeah, let's <laughs> I'm back. Two yeah. weeks later, three weeks later, I'm back. Do it again. <laughs> so, and I guess it kind of trained my hair because I can do it myself. I can just shrink my hair myself right it still last so. right but so you're able to wet your hair and it will be curly again yeah i'll have natural soft fluffy curls that i can actually maintain mm -hmm. because it's not all kinky and it's been trained now so mm -hmm. i enjoy my press more than my natural sometimes but right. then i still get those moments where i'm like i want to do my curls right. <laughs> like i said black but hair then again, it's back, it's it's back like, to trying to find like that. the right products and everything for your hair mm -hmm. as well right so, exactly yeah. so what about you you have these beautiful sister locks tell <laughs> everyone how that came about what made you want to do it Honestly, my locks came about because I just never took out twists. Oh, <laughs> so it was like an accident. It was an accident. I got tired of doing the hair. When I first started doing my hair, I was probably like 12 or 13. And I didn't know what to do going out. I know I had those terrible times when I was a kid and I used to just wet it. My sister got mad at me one time. She had to braid my hair. But I used to wet it because, you know, you, as a kid, you see straight hair around here. Like, I want that. You only have white dolls with straight hair. Mm -hmm. And I want that. So I wet it and I love how it looked. But I didn't know about the moisturizing and the oil and conditioning taking care of it. So I wet it and leave it out. And for a good minute, my hair was just dropping out. That, that was um, my tragic story. Uh -huh. But once I learned how to take care of it, I realized it's like a full I agree. I can handle fitness. I'm doing going to school, go working full time too. So it's like when I find the time to do it, I love my hair, but it's so much work. So Child. the sister locks are easier for you. They're easy to maintain. I can wear what style I want with it. It's thinner, it's not as thick. Yeah, so once but I can I can still get that thick look when I need it once right. in a while. But yeah, it's a lot more manageable. That's awesome. And it's so funny, guys, because I did not know that uh, she had sister locks. I just thought that she was natural. Mm -hmm. you know? We didn't go into details. So I love that. I love that you have sister locks. So we're going to move into the next question, guys. Hey, guys. What's up? I'm Brianna, and you're tuned in to season two of Sister's Diary. As you can see, we gave the ladies these beautiful gift bags, and inside they had the Everest Edge Brush. If you're interested in getting your own, then look down below below at the giveaway rules and this could be yours today. Slick them edges girl. Mm -hmm. 